Hi guys. I don't know how I'm going to start this video. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately and everything's okay with me and Andrew and it's just basically life for me at the moment and I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do in the way I am feeling, the way I do my videos, the way I want to do my videos but can't and I just feel really down. I feel down, depressed, hurt, don't know why. I don't know why I feel like this and it's getting me on my nerves basically and I'm a big person and I go out and about and I've enjoyed today because I've showed you my clothes what I've bought and then suddenly when I come home I feel uh, like depressed put it bluntly <laughs> and I don't know why I shouldn't feel like this when I come home. I should be feeling confident, feeling the upbeat person who I am when I go out. And, but then I don't feel safe when I'm out. Oh, God. This depression, it does my head in. Because I actually feel numb today. And I actually feel that I'm not worth anything. I should not say that, but that is going in my head at the moment. I don't know if it's the medications making me thinking that or what, but I am quite tired today. Excuse me, my God. But I've been looking at a lot of the YouTube videos and I'm thinking, I wish I could do that, and I wish I could do that. Like, to show, they seem to have fun, what they do. And I don't know if my channel's like that anymore. And it's been a bit depressing in my channel, but I'm trying to get back on track. And it's hard for me to get back on track at the moment, guys. Very, very hard. And I think it's with everything what's happened lately, with the scare, with what's happened to me, with my medication and stuff like that. And I'm just feeling a bit sorry for myself at the moment. I hate to admit that, guys, but I am. And I shouldn't. You know what I mean? I shouldn't. But it's the way that you are and you can't help what you feel can you because we're all human by the end of the day and we all have our ups and down days and I just don't know what to do anymore I don't know what, how to talk to my videos don't know how to what to do with my videos I wish I could learn how to edit I really could but I've seen some of the edit pictures and I'm not really keen on them but I just want a bit more life and I'm sick of staying in at the moment and I need to go out to see people, need to see friends but at the same time I'm worried in case my panic attacks start when I'm out and about and this is going on in my head and you feel like a prisoner because you've got panic attacks and I don't know if people understand that but I hope they do because at the moment I can't understand this myself and it's hard for me to talk about it when I can't understand it myself and I've been trying to read that leaflet and it's all too much guys, it's all too much.
I'm really sorry, guys. I just don't know what's wrong with me at the moment. I really don't. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow, like I always do, like have a drink at the end of the week and stuff. Oh, God. I think antibiotics are kicking in. Antibiotics. I'm on antibiotics. Very, very big ones. But a lot of stuff's going on in my mind. I need a good friend to talk to. I need a good friend who I can trust to talk to. That's all I want. And it's hard for me to get out and about. I want somebody to be there for me. And say, come on, Hells. I'll get you moving. I'll get you out. And stuff like that. I'm just being, I know I'm being silly, but I wanted to do this video on the down day of May. And people don't normally see this part of me when I'm really, really upset. And it kills me when I'm like this. Because I'm trying to fight the happiness. And I, I try and put a brave face on everything, but... At the same time, I'm not happy, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Because I know there's many people out there who suffer from depression. Loads of people suffer from depression. What I have seen of YouTubers and what I have seen of people who talk about depression, it's opened my eyes quite a lot. And it's hard to kick all that information in, inside your head and sometimes my head feels my head feels it's like pins and needles when it shouldn't and I don't know why and it's just like hurts round here and I mean like today I was in town could not help what think I wanted in town. My mind went black and blank. And then I remembered what I wanted when I came home. And I hate days like that. Because it scares me for what my condition or my depression or my panic attacks could get worse or better, depending which way it goes and you don't know these things guys because they just they're there and you don't know when it's going to trigger off and stuff like that now so you know guys i like to have a drink at the weekend and i like to have a drink at the week i am scared to have a drink now in case i have a panic attack in case I went the way I did. And that is scaring me. But at the same time, it, it was hot that day, so it could have been the weather with it being hot. I don't know. And I had a lot of stress that week. So I don't know. Was <laughs> I need help, guys. I need help. I need some sort of comments or something to help me to do this to get by this i just don't know what to do honestly well come off facebook there because being bullshitless once again and What am I going to do, guys? What am I going to do? I shouldn't say I feel worthless. I shouldn't. But hey, sometimes you do. Sometimes you do think that. And sometimes you can't help it. And you shouldn't. I know what our doggy would have said. 
Come on, Els, life's too short. Yes, we know that. <laughs> life's too short, don't we know it? I've seen it with you, Doug. <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? Um, but, I don't know. Really don't know. This isn't me. This is not me. You know it's not me, guys. I mean, my friend Darren doesn't even come round anymore now because he stopped drinking. But it's just, I feel a bit really lonely, to tell you the truth, guys. I really do feel lonely. And I was going to do this video the other night. And I think that's what part of me is. I feel a bit lonely because I need a friend to talk to. I need a good chat with someone. And I'm not getting all my feelings out. That I should be talking to a person, if you know what I mean. I mean, sometimes they can say a complete stranger helps when you talk to that person because if you know the person and you talk to that person who you know and you can't trust them and what the chances of them going round your back and talking behind your back. See, this is the thing, right? I would talk to people, but I'm, I can't trust them. Because of all the hurt I've been through. And I just want that person to talk to. I mean, I just literally want one person to talk to. Even if it's a complete stranger. A complete stranger might be the answer. And give me that boost back up again. Do you know what I mean? Well, you'll see this video tomorrow, guys, because... You see this in the morning, which would be Friday morning when you see this video. And I'll be in the middle of doing the dinner. Because I've got to get chicken for Sunday. Because this weekend is the anniversary death of our Johns. That's probably what it is as well, because... I don't know, I don't know guys, I'm just sick of everything at the moment, sick of doing day in, day out routine, but I don't like my routine change, that's the weird part about me. So... I really don't know, guys, and I'm going to love you and leave you because I am really tired out because my med medication is kicking in now. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you. Be cool, be happy, stay tuned, else for or two. I'm out of here, bye, guys.